Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For a tarot, an oracle card reading for all Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to start off with a Moonology Manifestation Oracle card. You have New Moon in Aquarius, open up to change. So keep that in mind as we go through the tarot reading today together. Know that there may be changes coming up. Embrace the changes. Don't let it scare you. We're going to have a general reading here. Okay, and following the tarot, we will hear from the Angel Answers deck. Well, you've got the star, the Page of Cups, new opportunities and offers, the Three of Swords, but we got to let go of the old. The Ace of Swords should help out a great deal with that. The Four of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and Temperance. I like that, the beginning and the end with the pool of consciousness in both of these. I saw this very early on, this page of cups just nestled here. Talk about beauty and harmony and getting along well with people and having helpful people come in. If you have some kind of a situation that needs repair, it's happening. It's wish fulfillment. You have the goddess of truth here. And so we have Aquarius, Sagittarius, air, earth, and water as well. But that page of cups, the pages are about they're messengers, they're contracts, letters, texts, invitations. They're the beginning of a new situation or an opportunity that presents itself. So if you lost a job and it's been like, this has been tough going, like all the opportunities that have been presented have been a pay cut or they've been below your skill set, or it seems like there's a ceiling to them. I feel like you have something better coming in. Now, if it was a housing situation too, and even either a building got sold or something around you changed, the taxes got raised, it just kept seeming like you were getting edged out, I feel like you'll have a new opportunity, and it may be something out of the box, like something you wouldn't normally have considered, but I feel like you're going to be really happy with the outcome, at least with this energy. It really is, It's this is optimism, it's hope, it's wish fulfillment, it's being easy about things, going with the flow. However, with the energy of temperance, it's also about staying true to yourself, so it doesn't mean that you give up on your ideals. It just means that there's more coming in for you. Now, in terms of relationships, you have somebody here that's going to be quite easy to be with, someone that will really click and tick all the boxes. I feel like this person with, with this energy come, showing up here, it's somebody who wants a commitment, but I also feel like, too, there's some heartache in the past here. I, but I also I feel like with this energy of the star, it is a great companion first. It's somebody who may be a friend first that you get to know over a period and you don't have that energy of really wanting to try to push things along at warp speed. That can sometimes not be a good sign that it's really more of an immature relationship or it's very need-based and that feeling of if we don't you know, jump into this serious commitment immediately, then somebody else is going to come along. Okay, there's nothing here that feels scary or threatening or fearful. I'll also tell you with this, your influence over others is going to be very positive. So if you are in the job market, or even if it's a housing situation, I feel like someone may get a short-term housing or a job, a short-term that really does what it needs to do. It fulfills the gap, and it's fine while it's there. But then I feel like you have something else coming in that's going to be for the longer term. So don't get too scared. If, it, if you get a situation, you go... That I can make this work, then make it work. Let it happen because you have more coming in. And it's something that you don't see right now. I feel like you're going to have a turning point. So if you're in it right now where you say, yeah, I'm making things work. I'm waiting for the next opportunity. It's in the cards. So with the Page of Cups, this is a wonderful energy. The Page is really in the, when the cards were made, they were of a very high prominence. Pages were part of the royal staff and they were very, very important. This is not something to be looked down upon. Okay, what this really represents though is building relationships. So in a job situation, and housing too, I'd say it, I feel like you already have some networking going on, whether you realize it or not. 
you're going to have an opportunity, a window here opens. Now, if you're doing something new and you're a creative type and you're just dabbling with it, if you have a regular nine to five, but you say, this is not really what my heart is calling for. I really want something that would allow me to be more creative, have more autonomy. I feel like you're just at the beginning stages of evolving that. But with this, this is the kind of energy that says if you approach any situation, any conversation with an open heart, you will find that the people around you will eagerly connect with you. They'll listen with great compassion. They'll listen and try to help you. So the good news is with this that it really everything around you starts to get perceived through feelings and that it's done in a way of caring. So you might find too that people want to share with you their inspirations and they say things to you like, I don't know why, but I just feel like I need to show you this. And it's something that's very meaningful to them. It's something that is very dear to them, a tr even like a tribute to their family. I get that from somebody that you hardly know wanting to show you on their phone or let me show you a picture of my daughter or that sort of thing. You're in a store and they suddenly start hauling this stuff out. It's because you're connecting with them in such a beautiful way. So know with this too. In terms of love, these are acts of love, but it also, too, can be somebody new coming into your life. It's law of attraction energy. It's blessings. It's gifts. And in a relationship, if you had one who stomped all over your heart, I feel like they're saying it's time to embrace a new one. Someone who will be, you know, again, willing to, to move at a pace that doesn't seem needy. It feels like it's, it really is about allowing the love to grow and evolve. And so... With this, you may find, I mentioned before, people are going to want to open up and share with you. But this is also, too, letting you know that your psychic abilities are quite sharp. So pay attention to your intuition. You've got something here that must change. I'm just going to give it to you raw. With this three of swords, okay, this is not a, a thing that we want to hang on to. So if something really did betray you, it hurt you, it pierced you, you said, I don't, I didn't deserve this. I agree, you didn't. Nobody deserves this. I mean, it really is awful. And so I feel like you had something here, though, that created a turning point. And so what the best thing to do when we have these turn back moments is to find a way to move around it, go ahead, keep going ahead, right? We don't just quit. We find a new path. And so if it was a relationship, I feel like with the Page of Cups and even the Ace of Swords, you've got new love showing up. If it was a job or a moving situation that you never thought was going to end, and it did, I feel like with this Ace of Swords, you're going to find that you have new opportunities here. But the truth also will come out. So if something was underhanded, if somebody had more information than you did and they didn't give you the false story, I do feel like it's going to come to the forefront. But I also feel like in some ways it's helpful because it allows you to let go of it. This Ace of Swords energy, anything you set, any goals you set, you're going to do them. This is the kind of energy where you surpass. So if you have sales goals that you need to make or you have a goal in terms of your living environment, a certain place you want to live in, a certain area, you're going to do it. And I feel like you're going to feel like it was a feat, but you did it. Okay, this is a card of feeling huge success. I even heard glory. You feel huge glory in this. So the Four of Cups is a reflection of, of opportunities that may fall a little short. Like I said, if you're doing something right now that bridges the gap, that's what I feel like this is about. It's like this is okay for now, but it's not the long term. I'd also say, though, too, if you're in a relationship that's feeling like a four of cups, like the connection isn't really there, then you're going to have somebody else that comes in. And so I feel like the be your best friend in the reading really is this Ace of Swords. It's the clarity. It's really knowing which direction to take because the Four of Cups can be rather uncertain. He's also not too willing to look at solutions. He's not doing much here. I mean, he's all folded up and he's pouting. It's just not really that much of a, an, an opportunity to grow. So if it's in the time being, I feel like, again, you're doing something here to pass the time. But with that Knight of Swords, you might feel a sudden burst of being compelled to move forward. Now, this is the kind of energy, too, where the truth comes rushing in. It cannot be overlooked. When the Knight of Swords delivers the handful of truth, 
you'll say, yep, okay, just as I suspected. It's vindication, it's validation. Knights have great intentions, and this one is like your best friend in terms of getting to the bottom of something. If you need to get to the bottom of something, this will do it, and there will be no question about it. There will be nothing hidden. There won't be any confusion. It's clarity. It cuts to the chase, and it does so at warp speed. So the Six of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to be on the upswing with money, especially if it's been in kind of a holding period, or if you've just had a lot of bills and you say, I look at what I bring in. I should be saving money, but I just can't seem to get ahead. I feel like you're finally going to be tipping the scales a little bit where things are going to get feel a lot better in terms of your ability to save money, have security with money, and feel like you're being paid your worth. So those of you that have been in this holding pattern of this is good enough for now, things are about to change and get a lot better. With the Six of Pentacles, you'll find too that it's a two-way street. You feel like you're being paid your worth. And in terms of a, you know, if it's a, a job or even in a relationship too, it feels balanced. It feels like this is a match. This makes sense. So last but never least with the this angel here of temperance, and this is an important sign in any reading really, um, but it, it shows beauty and harmony in that energy of really being associated with repairing and healing situations, helping people. It also helps you understand your divine life purpose, which is pretty big. So even if you had to deal with some muck for a minute, this will help you to bring your mental, spiritual, emotional, and even financial life back into balance. But with this, it is about incorporating positive changes. Okay, that path winds around, but it goes to that dawn of a new day. So even if you've been on kind of a winding road, I do feel like eventually you're getting to the right spot. You're going to get into a nice phase here where you'll say this is a lot better than what I've been trying to navigate. So let's see what the angels want to tell you. No need to worry. I would agree. I feel like you have good changes ahead. Be assertive. Be open to change, but be assertive. Now, you have the energy of compromise. Those scales of balance have come in twice. So like I said, if you had to do something to bridge the gap, I feel like that was needed. But you've got a card of weight. Now, I do feel like with this, if you've been in a holding pattern, it may be associated with that. But I'd also say, too, when we see that card of weight with yes, it's like you just wait. You are about to be blown away. You've got a change showing up here that's going to improve things dramatically. So good things are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.